well today i'm gonna show you how to make this crochet bag it's made out of t-shirt yarn and it's super pretty and easy to make if you don't know a lot about crochet this is a perfect project for you i've also made a written pattern on my website i'll leave the link in the description down below um, it really helps out support my channel so yeah let's get started with the tutorial to make this bag i'll be using some t-shirt yarn this is from the brand hooked i'll leave the details in the description down below if you want to get the same yarn as me and i'll also be using a 12 millimeter hook this is from the brand prim you'll also need a couple of stitch markers and that's pretty much it so let's get started so to make the bag i use two different uh schemes so to start we have to make a slip knot to do that i take my yarn and i roll it on my fingers making an x shape then you can put your fingers underneath here and come grab this take off your fingers and pull you can adjust it to your hook and we're going to chain 14 to chain you yarn over and you pull through yarn over pull through that's two chains yarn over pull through that's three so just keep doing these steps until you have 14 chains on your hook so here i'm done chaining 14. the next step is to place some stitch markers you're going to put one in the second chain from your hook in the front loop so one two and you're going to do the same thing on the other side here so one two like this the next step is to do single crochets we're going to skip the first chain and make 12 single crochets and we'll be left off with one chain here where we're going to increase so skip the first chain insert your hook in the second chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and we're going to come and put a stitch marker on that first stitch so we know that this is where our row starts so that was one insert your hook in the next chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two insert your hook in the next chain yarn over pull through So here I've done 12 single crochets and we have one chain left. In that one chain left, we're going to increase. We're going to make three single crochets in the same chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Insert your hook in the same hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, Pull through two that's two insert your hook in the same hole yarn over pull through yarn over pull 
equal to 2, that's 3. So we're done making our increase. And now we can take off this stitch marker and start doing single crochets again. We have 11 single crochets to make before we reach this stitch marker over here. And where this stitch marker is, we're going to increase again. So take off this stitch marker. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now that we've reached our stitch marker, we're going to take it off and make an increase. We're going to make two single crochets in the same chain. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and one more in the same hole. And here we have our increase. And now we're going to take a stitch marker and place it in the last stitch of the row so we know that this is where our row ends and we're going to make a slip stitch so take off this stitch marker from your first chain from your first stitch sorry insert your hook in there yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook and you're going to chain one to start row two. On row two, it's super easy. The only thing you have to do is single crochets everywhere. So we're basically just going to make single crochets all around. And from this first stitch marker to this last stitch marker, you're supposed to have 28 stitches. So take off your first stitch marker insert your hook in there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and put your stitch marker back in there insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two Okay, so I'll see you guys when I reach my last stitch over here. So I've reached my last stitch marker over here. I'm going to make a single crochet. And we're going to end off our row by doing a slip stitch. So before that, we're going to put back our stitch marker in our last stitch and take off this stitch marker from our first stitch insert our hook in there yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook and chain one so we're basically just going to repeat making 28 stitches all around. In total, we have nine rows and so far we have two rows. So that means we have seven more rows to go. We finished row two. We're going to start row three and I'll show you one last time how to end off a row and start a new one. So you just insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two 
and you put back your stitch marker in your first stitch insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two I have one more stitch to do Put back your stitch marker on that last stitch and make a slip stitch. Take off the stitch marker from your first stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook and chain one to start the new row so here we've done three rows we have six more to go so i'll see you guys when i'm done doing all of my rows so basically you just have to chain one do 28 single crochets and then do a slip stitch and repeat so i'm now done doing my nine rows you can do your last slip stitch and then pull some yarn and you can come and cut this and I just pass my hook through the first stitch of the previous row and pull it inside of the back so the next step is just to lay your work flat and then you're going to look at it from above and you're going to come and find the stitch that separates the front from the back of your bag which is this little stitch here and this little stitch if you want you can come and put some stitch markers there in the middle like that and now the next step is to do the strap okay so the next step is to take off one of the stitch markers we just placed and put our hook through that stitch just like this and then take your two tails of yarn and pass it through the stitch and then we're gonna start chaining So I have done 37 chains. You can adjust this number uh, to your liking by either doing more chains or less chains. And the last step is to connect it to the other side of your bag. So you can take off the stitch marker and insert your hook where that stitch marker was. Like this. You can then yarn over pull through and then pull through again like this and then you can pull some yarn and cut it so now what we can do is just pass these little tails in this hole And the last thing we have to do is to weave in all of these little ends. So here I'm done weaving in all of the ends. So this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed making this little bag. 
let me know what you think of it um and if you ever do it please tag me i would love to see that and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video thank you so much for watching see you guys next time bye bye